Interest rates are higher than they've been for years, and this should affect how you think about investing in comic books. Now, for those of us who love buying comic books, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. And I'm gonna start off with the bad news. So, from an investment standpoint, which is very different than a collector standpoint, so I'm only talking about comics from an investment perspective here, but from that perspective, I do not think that now is a good time to be investing in comic books if you're buying them at fair market value. Now, why is that the case? Well, as most of you probably know, in the past year or so, the comic book market has been undergoing a correction from the all-time high prices it saw during what is now known as the comic boom. And so this means that values on comics have been dropping pretty much across the board. And personally, I think that even though that correction has definitely slowed down, that we are not at the bottom of the market yet. And pr probably the best case scenario in the near future is that comics just kind of trade sideways for a while. In other words, their values remain pretty stagnant, don't really go up or don't really go down. But on the other hand, these high interest rates that we're now seeing means that many banks, especially those that are online, are paying over 5% interest simply on high yield savings accounts or money market accounts. And so what this means right now is that if you had $1,300 to invest, you could go and get a 9.6 CGC graded Amazing Spider-Man number 300. First full appearance of Venom, classic Todd McFarlane cover, a book I love and that I'm sure lots of you love. But a year from now, that book is probably still only going to be worth about $1,300. And possibly it even goes down to $1,250, $1,200. Maybe it goes up, but, but probably not. However, if you take that $1,300 and put it into a high yield savings account, then a year from now, that $1,300 is gonna be $1,365. You're gonna have made $65. And then all of a sudden, if you still really want that ASM 300, you could go and buy it a year from now and still have $65 left over. Or what is probably the better idea is just to keep that money in your savings account until interest rates start to go back down or the comic book market starts to heat back up. And then at that point, you can go get your ASM 300. Now, of course, the downside is that you have to wait at least a year to own that beautiful ASM 300. But the key to building wealth, probably the most important key there is, is to delay gratification. I have never earned a lot of money, but the wealth that I've been able to build is mostly because my parents instilled in me the ability to delay gratification and to hold off on buying things or back when I was in school to hold off on going out and playing basketball until my work was done. But if I can teach you nothing else through this channel, learn to delay your gratification it will pay off in the long run. And I probably should do a whole video on this one day. And if you can do that in this scenario, not only will you have a higher return on your investment, but you'll also have a much safer investment because the savings account is guaranteed to give you 5% on your investment. Plus, it's a very liquid investment, which means that if there's some kind of emergency where you have an unexpected repair, then you can go and access that money very easily and not be left to either pay for that repair with a credit card, which has all time high interest rates, or have to turn around and sell your ASM 300 for a discount because you just need cash quickly. So you take that $1,300 book, you're like, man, I've just got to pay for this car repair. You know, somebody just give me a thousand for it and, and you let it go. And all of a sudden you've had a terrible return on your investment. Now that exact scenario brings me to the good news when it comes to investing in comic books during these times of high interest rates. 
And that comes from the fact that many people are looking to turn their assets into cash because again, credit card interest rates are at an all time high. Car loan interest rates are higher than they've been in years. People are getting turned down for car loans more than they ever had before. And so people are in need of cash more than they have been in a long time so that they can avoid these high interest payments. And what that means is that people are starting to look in their closets and say, hey, I've got this box of comics that I haven't done anything with for years. Maybe I can get a little bit of money for them. And they're not necessarily wanting to put a lot of time into that because there's a learning curve when it comes to selling comics and they usually just want their cash as quickly as possible. And so they may list this on Facebook Marketplace or in some other classified or put them at a yard sale and they're just looking for the first decent offer that can come around. So maybe there's someone in this condition who has an ASM 300 9.6, and even though the fair market value is 1300, maybe they're willing to let it go to you for a thousand. And if you can get that book for a thousand dollars, well then all of a sudden you've made a great investment. Because first of all, right off the bat, you've made 30% on your investment. And the wise thing is probably actually then to sell it and then put the money into the savings account and then buy that book again later. But even if you don't, you could still hold onto that book for five years and your return on investment would be just as good as if you had put $1,300 into a high yield savings account. So even though it's gonna take a little bit more time than going on eBay, if you start looking at classifieds, yard sales, things like that, then you can find some really good buys even at this time and in some ways especially at this time since again people are looking to turn their assets into cash and even though it takes more time probably for all of us yeah, there's fun obviously in the hunt when all of a sudden you find this ASM 300 for a thousand dollars and man that, that's really exciting and I'll show you an example of a book that I recently picked up Batman Adventures number 12 uh, which of course is the first appearance of Harley Quinn in a comic book. Now I already have my own copy of this in a 9.4 and I think that's probably the ceiling on this book. I mean possibly it could get a 9.6 but I don't think so. It's probably somewhere 9 to 9.4 I think. But I got this at an incredible deal because I found someone who had some comics and they just wanted cash quickly and so they asked me what I could offer for them. And again, since I'm not looking to get this for my personal collection, since I already have one, I said, hey, well, I'm gonna be looking to resell this and I can offer you this because obviously I need to make some money on this myself to make it worth the time that I tie up my money, send this off to CGC to get graded and list on eBay and all this. But when it all is said and done, I'm probably gonna make about $200 on this book in just a couple months time. And so I will have made a great return on my investment, one that is much better than having my money in a high yield savings account, but that only comes because I didn't buy this at fair market value, but hunted until I found someone who just wanted some cash. And you know, it was a win-win. I mean, they needed the cash. You know, they didn't want to take the time that, to learn how to sell comic books and all of that. So it was, it's a great scenario, and we're actually probably gonna do some more deals. They're happy, I'm happy. Now, of course, there's other great places to invest your money, like in index funds, but I'm just comparing high interest savings accounts to comic books at this time. So what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Why? Tell me in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate if you consider doing so right now like it and help this algorithm. Thanks for watching and as always, I look forward to the next one.